Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Let's dive into the recipe. Take four eggs and break them into a bowl. Eggs are a fantastic source of high quality protein and essential nutrients. Now add one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of oregano. Mix everything together with a whisk until it's well combined. These seasonings not only add flavor, but also have their own health benefits. For example, oregano is known for its antioxidant properties. Next, add one cup of cream and one cup of milk to the bowl. Now let's add a half cup of flour and one tablespoon of baking powder. Stir the mixture until it's smooth and well blended. Cream and milk add a lovely richness to the dish, and they also provide calcium and vitamin D. This will give our casserole a nice, fluffy texture. Set this mixture aside for now. Now, fill a saucepan with water. Friends, please write in the comments, what country and city are you from? It's very nice to know that we can communicate all over the world. Add a pinch of salt and stir well. and bring it to a boil. Once the water is boiling, add eight ounces or 250 grams of pasta and cook it according to the package instructions until it's al dente. Pasta is a great source of carbohydrates, providing energy that we need to get through our day. While the pasta is cooking, heat some olive oil in a frying pan over medium heat. Olive oil is a healthy fat rich in monounsaturated fats and antioxidants. Finally, chop one white onion. Did you know that onions have been used for their medicinal properties for thousands of years? They contain antioxidants and compounds that fight inflammation and reduce cholesterol levels. Add it to the pan. Saute the onion until it's translucent. Next, grate two cloves of garlic. Garlic is not only flavorful, but also has numerous health benefits including boosting the immune system and reducing blood pressure. Add them to the pan. Then add 18 ounces or 500 grams of a mixture of ground pork and beef. This combination provides a good balance of flavors and nutrients, including iron and B vitamins. Cook this mixture for 10, 15 minutes, stirring occasionally 
until the meat is browned and cooked through. Once the pasta is cooked, drain the water and transfer the pasta to a large bowl. Add to the ground meat in the pan one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of oregano. Mix well and remove the pan from the heat. Add the cooked ground meat to the bowl with the pasta. Pour in seven fluid ounces or 200 milliliters of tomato sauce and mix everything together. Tomatoes are rich in vitamin C, potassium, and lycopene, an antioxidant that has been linked to many health benefits, including reduced risk of heart disease and cancer. Now take a head of cheese, cut it in half, and grate one half. Add the grated cheese to the pasta mixture and stir well. Cheese adds a wonderful creamy texture and is a good source of calcium and protein. Take a baking dish and grease it with a little oil to prevent sticking. Pour the pasta and ground meat mixture into the dish and spread it out evenly. This is the base of our casserole, and it's already looking delicious. Now let's prepare our vegetables. Heat some more olive oil in a frying pan over medium heat. Coarsely chop one red onion. Red onions have a milder flavor compared to white onions and are also high in antioxidants.
add it to the pan. Saute the onion until it's soft. Next, take one eggplant. Cut it into rings. Eggplants are low in calories, but rich in fiber, vitamins, and minerals. They are particularly high in antioxidants, known as anthocyanins, which protect cells from damage. and then cut it into strips. Add the eggplant strips to the pan with the onion. Chop two sweet peppers. Bell peppers are high in vitamin C and antioxidants, which are great for your skin and immune system. to the pan. Take five large champignon mushrooms. Chop them finely. Mushrooms are low in calories, but rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. They're also a great source of fiber and protein.
them to the pan as well. Finally, add 14 ounces or 400 grams of chopped tomatoes from a jar to the pan. Stir everything together. And season with one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of black pepper. And one teaspoon of oregano. Let the vegetables simmer for about 10 minutes until they are tender and well combined. Transfer the cooked vegetables from the frying pan into the baking dish on top of the pasta and ground meat mixture. Pour the egg mixture we prepared earlier over the vegetables. This will help bind everything together and add a lovely richness to the dish. Grate the remaining half of the cheese. and sprinkle it generously over the top of the casserole. Preheat your oven to 360 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Place the casserole in the oven and bake for 30 minutes until the top is golden brown and bubbly. While our casserole is baking, cut six cherry tomatoes into halves Cherry tomatoes are sweet and juicy, adding a burst of freshness to the dish. Once the casserole is done, take it out of the oven and let it cool slightly. Make cuts in the casserole to make it easier to serve later, creating approximately 12 servings. Place a cherry tomato half on each serving.
finely chop a small bunch of green onions to sprinkle on top. Green onions add a nice crunch and a mild, fresh flavor. All right, our eggplant and minced meat casserole is ready. It looks amazing and smells delicious. Let's serve a portion and give it a try. The combination of the savory meat, tender vegetables, and creamy egg mixture is just perfect. This dish is sure to be a hit with your family. Remember, using fresh natural ingredients from local farmers markets is the best way to ensure we all stay healthy and happy. Cooking with love and fresh ingredients is the best way to nourish our bodies and souls. But that is not all. Don't turn off the video. I have a second equally delicious recipe for you. Take three eggs and break them into a bowl. Then add a teaspoon of salt. And a teaspoon of black pepper. And then a teaspoon of oregano. These seasonings add wonderful flavor to our dish. Now mix it all together with a whisk until it's well combined. Today we're making a special dish that is close to my heart, eggplant vegetable casserole. This recipe is perfect for a family dinner. Next, add one cup of cream to the bowl and stir it in. Let's add half a cup of flour. And one teaspoon of baking powder. This will give our casserole a nice fluffy texture. Set the mixture aside and let's prepare our eggplant. Take one eggplant. Cut it into slices first. This casserole is not only delicious, but also packed with nutritious vegetables. Vegetables are so important for our health. They can help manage diabetes, reduce the risk of heart disease, and control hypertension. They're full of vitamins, minerals, and fiber that our bodies need. then cut the rings into strips. I always try to use natural, organic ingredients from local farmer's markets. It's important to nourish our bodies with wholesome foods. Natural and whole foods are much healthier than processed convenience foods, and they taste so much better too. I care deeply about my health and the health of my family, and I want you to do the same. Remember, Cooking with love and fresh ingredients is the best way to ensure we all stay healthy and happy.
transfer the eggplant strips into the bowl. Then add the egg mixture. And stir to coat them well. Now, heat some oil in a frying pan over medium heat. If you have any questions about the recipe, write to me and I will answer as soon as I see it in the comments. Finally, chop one onion. Did you know that onions have been used for their medicinal properties for thousands of years? They contain antioxidants and compounds that fight inflammation. Add the onion to the pan, saute it until it's translucent. Next, grate one carrot. Carrots are rich in beta-carotene, which our bodies convert to vitamin A. This is essential for good vision and immune function. Add it to the pan. Saute for a few minutes until the carrot softens. We have 200 grams of mushrooms here. Slice them up. Mushrooms are low in calories but rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. They're also a great source of fiber and protein.
add it to the pan as well. Chop one bell pepper into small pieces. Bell peppers are high in vitamin C and antioxidants, which are great for your skin and immune system. Add it to the pan as well. Finally, chop a bunch of fresh parsley. Parsley is not just a garnish. It's packed with vitamins A, C, and K, and can help with bone health. and stir it into the pan. Then add one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper. Stir everything together and let it cook for a few minutes. Once the vegetables are nicely cooked, transfer them into the bowl with the eggplant and egg mixture. Mix everything together until well combined. Now, grease a baking dish with a little oil to prevent sticking. Pour the vegetables. 
vegetable and egg mixture into the dish and spread it out evenly. Preheat your oven to 360 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Place the baking dish in the oven and bake for 30 minutes. While our casserole is baking, let's make a simple and delicious sauce. In a small bowl, combine two tablespoons of Greek yogurt. One tablespoon of ketchup. One tablespoon of mayonnaise. Grate one clove of garlic. And add it to the bowl. Sprinkle in a little dry oregano. and stir everything together. This sauce is a perfect complement to our casserole. Our casserole should be almost ready now. Let's prepare the final touches. Take one tomato and cut it into rings. When the casserole is done baking, remove it from the oven and place the tomato rings on top. Grate seven ounces or 200 grams of cheese. Sprinkle it over the tomatoes. This will create a delicious gooey topping. Place the casserole back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes until the cheese is melted and bubbly. All right, our eggplant vegetable casserole is ready. Let's take it out of the oven. Look at that beautiful golden brown top. It smells amazing. Let's give it a try. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you and your family enjoy this recipe as much as we do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tasty recipes. Until next time, happy cooking.